Welcome to 5 Minute 40k, the short sharp look at all things hobby. Today, a very quick video having a look at the Tyranids and specifically the Gene Stealers because the, they've just got a new profile as pure strains in the brand new Gene Stealer Cult Codex and frankly it looks very interesting. So what's this all about then? Well, as I say, the pure strain Gene Stealers, which have always had a slightly odd place uh, in the Gene Stealer cult, cult Codex, being, you know, in theory a core part of the army, but something that doesn't see much play. Um, they've just got this new profile, and I think it's interesting for what it tells us, you know, because I don't play Gene Stealer cults, but what it tells us about what the Tyranids might get as and when their codex comes out. So it's looking pretty spicy, and the profile, as you can see, is on your screen now. So in terms of the changes, the unit size has gone to 5 to 10 models. Currently, it's 5 to 20, so you'll normally see these blobs of 12 to 16 Gene Stealers in most Tyranid armies at the moment. The weapon skill has gone to a flat 2 plus. Currently on the Tyranid Gene Stealers, it's a 3 plus and they get plus 1 to hit when they're within 6 inches of a Broodlord. And I believe the uh, Gene Stealer Cults had a similar ability uh, with their Patriarch, who is the sort of Broodlord equivalent. So that's now gone, they just get the flat 2 plus, which is really good. They also get a flat 4 attacks. Again, currently in the uh, Tyranid Codex, that's a 3 attacks. And you get another attack, so up to 4, if the unit size is 11 or more. Basically, more than 10. Their weapon that they have in the Gene Stealer Cult Codex, which is the Cult Claws and Talons, has a flat AP3. Now, the rending claws on the Tyranid Gene Stealers are currently minus 1, and they go to a minus 4 on an unmodified wound roll of a 6. So as I say here, I'm sort of assuming here that this is the Rending Claw equivalent for um, the uh, Gene, Stealer, Gene Stealer cults, but it is important to remember that they these you know, Pure Strain Gene Stealers don't have access to the other weapon options which the Nid Gene Stealers get, so Scything Talons, uh, the Acid Moors, things like that. So this may not carry across, but if it does, it makes Rending Claws pretty nasty um, just on their baseline. Uh, quite a big change as well is that their pure strain reflexes give them a 4 plus invulnerable save. Currently on the Gene Stealers, it's a 5 plus in the Tyranid uh, Codex, so this would be a significant improvement to their durability. In terms of what they've kept as well, they can still do their 8 inch move and they still have their swift and deadly advance and charge, which obviously makes is one of the things that makes Gene Stealers very good. They're very quick, you can fling them across the board and they can get into the enemy army nice and quick and dole out a lot of attacks. So the question I'm asking really is, do we think this will carry across to the Tyranid Codex? Everyone loves a bit of idle speculation in Warhammer and it is interesting to think about what this sort of profile would do. Obviously, at the moment, we see very big, as I say, maybe 12 to 16 models, normally multiples of four, because then you get uh, a free acid more for every four models uh, in the Tyranid Codex as currently drafted. And um, they are, you know, quite expensive units and they are a troop slot. So it's interesting to see whether that is going to, whether the, the changes that are in this are going to carry across and cause changes to the way that Tyranid forces build their armies and whether we are going to be still seeing, you know, big blocks of 10 gene stealers. I mean, with a four up invan save, that's pretty good. And if they still get things like Kraken's uh, abilities, you know, depending on what, 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 what Kraken allows you to do in terms of currently, obviously, rolling 3d6 for the advance, picking the highest. Uh, and also things like the Swarm Lord, which would give you that double move. And what you'll often see is Nid players using the Swarm Lord to fling um, an already very quick unit of Gene Stealers straight into the face of the enemy. You know, potentially a turn one charge, but maybe holding them back to sort of turn two and then just unleashing them and getting them right across the board because you just have that sheer volume of movement available to you. The weapon profile change is also really interesting. If it does, if Rending Claws do go to AP3, this would be a big quality of life improvement, I think, for a lot of Tyranids. We've all had the situation where, you know, you're doing a huge volume of attacks, but against a very tough enemy, minus one AP these days just doesn't really necessarily do that much. It'll still go through a lot of stuff. I don't want to pretend for any reason that Gene Stealers in the Tyranid Codex are a bad unit. They're not. They're a very good unit. Um, but, you know, having flat minus three um, is really quite good, even at damage one. Um, and with the amount of stuff that reduces damage these days by one, actually one damage weapons that are quite high AP that might force invent saves as well, they're pretty good. 
So all in all, a very interesting set of changes for the pure strain gene stealers. Um, and let's, you know, as a Tyranid player, let's hope something like this. And I think it does give us an indication of maybe what we're going to get in the full Tyranid Codex. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that short video. Um, let me know what you think. Do you think Gene Steelers are going to get a glow up in the Tyranid Codex? And what changes would you like to see in the Tyranid Codex? Is there anything else uh, in the GSC decks that you're aware of that you think would be cool to carry across into the Tyranids uh, where applicable? Other than that, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know you guys are enjoying the videos and, you know, I'm going to keep making them if you keep enjoying them. And other than that, I'll see you again next time.